RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today, yet again, we are taking a look at the Cine 3, the three inch Cinewoop that I built. And today we're gonna kinda see how it flies with a bottom mounted battery. And I'm gonna be using uh, either like a 1300 milliamp hour four cell or a 1500 milliamp hour four cell uh, bottom mounted. So instead of it being on the top, on the top of the frame, it's gonna be on the bottom. I haven't changed any of the, uh, the PIDs or anything like that. Um, and I believe we're using the gem fan kind of boomerang looking propellers. Um, so I haven't changed a whole lot because I wanted to see how having the battery towards the bottom would affect the flight performance. And when I talk about the smoothness, um, and like you can see right, oh no, I'm getting in the trees. Ah, oh my gosh, oh no, yeah. Okay, that was a short flight, kind of almost ran into myself there. Right, so anyway, when I talk about the smoothness, what I mean is, is like, um, you know, some of some of the the smoothness has to do with the pilot you know how how smoothly you move the sticks how your rates are that type of thing but really what i what i want what i'm looking to to see if there's a difference with is sort of just the the forward motion of the quadcopter or when the quadcopter is flying without me moving the sticks so like if we get it going into kind of a, a forward kind of cruise flight and I don't have to touch the sticks I want to see if there are going to be bobbles or wobbles or anything like that and right now and I believe all of the clips until the last clip of the video are uh, super view and they're not stabilized and I'm using the hero 8 and this is uh, the GoPro color and I think I've, I have an ND8 or ND4 filter on here so it's a little washed out at times but that's not really what we're looking at we're looking at sort of the how smoothly this quadcopter flies. So like right there, right there, it's 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 kind of smooth. I'm kind of jerking it around a little bit, um, but you'll notice like there's just these weird little like kind of bobble wobble things. Like uh, on an airplane, you might kind of call this like a Dutch roll. So it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a cross between like a a porpoise like bobble up and down and like kind of a roll and so it's kind of just this weird um just a very unpleasant thing to watch now like right there that's you know this is kind of me trying to navigate through these branches and some of that you know or a lot of that is just the rates i'm still kind of trying to to dial in the rates and right there that's kind of cool that's that's that is something where the ducts do help just although not necessarily acting as ducts but acting as propeller guards uh, to kind of uh, keep the propellers from grabbing branches at least as long as the branches don't go into the duct one thing worth mentioning here again is just that the sound of this cinewoop i don't know about all cinewoops but this one sounds absolutely horrible it is terrible to listen to and it makes flying this not very pleasant so i'm going to shut up here unless you listen to that So you see what I mean? It's uh, it's it's kind of hard on the ears, and I've turned I've turned down the volume on the on the actual quad like a lot so that this is somewhat bearable to listen to. And I know this isn't the most exciting stuff. It's this is just kind of raw uh, flight footage, but I want to show this to you because, uh, well, just because this is this is what I'm trying to figure out with with this Cinewoop. Uh, again, I don't know if this is representative of of all the cine whoops out there and I, I think there are some things that I could do to get this you know to fly more smoothly because obviously other people do have um, pretty good success with this but uh, if you want to see all of the, the all of the gear that I'm using and all the parts in this cine whoop you can go check out my build series for this one 
and those other videos that I've done and some propeller testing videos and that kind of thing. Uh, but we'll do a few more flights here and I'll give you my impressions and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this. Okay, that felt like a much better flight. Um, I'm starting to feel like it's getting stable to the point where I could actually, uh, like where I can actually get the hang of how it flies. It definitely has some wobble, definitely gets thrown off course by the wind, which can be like really annoying going from like a freestyle quad where you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, but I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting better with it. I definitely need to tweak the rates. I felt much more stable with the battery at the bottom. Now here's a good example of what I'm talking about with the bobble. Notice, especially towards the edges of the of the frame here, there's kind of a there's sort of a side side to side wobble a little bit, and it's just not super great. And it's definitely has to do with the ducts. It's not terrible. It's not like the worst thing ever, but it's it's definitely even compared to like a, a you know freestyle five inch quad it's it's not smooth like it should you should be able to fly more smoothly than that even without any sort of stabilization or anything also descents on with or with the cinewhoop are very difficult because the ducks, because it totally just changes like the aerodynamics of the quad. It's one thing I noticed with the cinema flying is you don't really want to do like the kind of the, basically you don't want to do a coordinated turn because doing that roll motion feels really weird. I mean, it looks weird in the, in the, in the final video. Yeah, and so now we have a 1500 milliamp hour 4S race day quads battery on the bottom of this thing and so now i want to try and do a little bit more acro stuff a little bit it's kind of not fast flying but a little bit more agile flying and we'll do some flips and rolls to see how the rates are Yeah, definitely just not very good acro handling. We'll, we'll see how it did with, when I was just kind of like flying quickly, but in more of kind of like an up, you know, level, a level fashion, but faster flying. But I did notice that, uh, yeah, definitely just not very good acro handling. We'll, we'll see how it did with, when I was just kind of like flying quickly, but in more of kind of like an up, you know, level, a level fashion, but faster flying. But I did notice that uh, when I would be flying forward, I could feel like the motors, like they would like be doing one thing and then they would suddenly change because it's, it's like a thought that it should be doing something else, you know, based on like 
the you know the angle that the, if the quad was tilting none of this has been stabilized oh you know what let's do one more flight i'm going to do one more flight but i'll turn on like the boost or whatever quick note about this flight right here i thought i had turned on the boosted stabilization which should make it like the most stabilized that it can be coming right out of the camera however i'm looking at this now and this cannot possibly be boosted stabilization at least i hope it's not because you can still see like a lot of wobbles it, it does seem to be more stabilized but uh, still it still looks pretty bad so either i forgot to do that or or it still looks bad because there are certain types of kind of wobbly motions that the stabilization you know doesn't quite get rid of all of those and uh, this quad seems to be doing quite a bit of that but anyway kind of cool flight coming down there let's see how it turns out I definitely noticed like that whole way, I think you can see on the OSD, the whole way going down through the trees. When I was descending, I actually had to like increase the throttle, like because I was like pushing the nose down, but also increasing the throttle, uh, partially to speed up, but to maintain stability for sure. You know, and I'm definitely, definitely gonna look into more of designing a frame where the GoPro sits like at the front in line with the frame it'd make it a little bit bigger but it would like overall i think it'd be way better to have it like that okay that's all Bye. thanks for watching everybody i appreciate you i appreciate your time if you have any questions about this leave me a comment and maybe i or someone else will be able to help you as always thanks for watching and i will see you again very soon